So now I'm going to talk about calculating the mean of discrete random variables and also how that mean is an expected value. So first of all, calculating the mean of a discrete random variable. I'm just going to give you this sample probability distribution for a golfer on a par 3 hole where x is the number of strokes to complete the course. So, you know, you see most of the time, 45% of the time, the golfer does it in three strokes. Sometimes he does it in two. And every once in a while he'll do it in one or four. So this is our sample distribution. And we have this formula here for calculating the mean. The mean for any x is the sum of all x times the probability associated with each x. So let me uh, show you what that means. First, we're going to find each x times the probability associated with each x. So we get 0 0.10, 0 0.60, 1.35, and 0.60. And then if we add those four things together, if we take the sum of those things, we get the mean of this discrete random variable, which in this case is 2.65. So now I'm going to talk about the mean as an expected value. The mean we just calculated of 2.65 is an expected value. If we were to take a large enough sample of this golfer's performance on par 3 holes, we expect his mean to approach 2.65. Like if we record him doing thousands and thousands of par 3 holes, the more and more he does, the closer and closer we expect it to get to 2.65. What this is actually called is the law of large numbers. And it's pretty simple. That's how you calculate the mean of a discrete random variable. Just understand that what we're actually calculating is an expected value for our probability experiment. And it will approach that value due to what we call the law of large numbers.